Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day, February 14th. Welcome to the Senate County Commissioner meeting. It's 10 a.m. and we'll open the meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mike, prayer. Bill, you did it? Sure. Okay. Thanks. Please bow your heads. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, please be with us as we make decisions for our county residents and please give us your guidance as we proceed with the decisions at hand today. Also, Lord, thank you for not letting Tony wear his Cupid outfit on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. We are very thankful for that. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 But no cookies. That's good. <laughs> Roll call. Commissioner Paradiso. Here. Commissioner Shaw. Here. Commissioner Frank. Here. Okay, so at this time I will accept a motion to approve uh, the minutes from our last meeting, just uh, last Thursday, uh, February 9th. So moved. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Frankert? Yes. Commissioner Schaff? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, uh, first on the agenda, we'll just jump right in unless anybody has any comments. Uh, we want to talk about the solar eclipse. We have our EMA director here, John Sparr, and uh, thanks for coming, John. Thanks for having me. Uh, floor is yours. Great. Uh, I just wanted to talk. Um, uh, quickly, because we're going to get into this uh, uh, deeply next, no, two Mondays, yep. two Mondays uh, from yesterday, um, on the 27th, 9 a.m. at the NCOESC, like we discussed, the old Kroger building. Yes, yes. Uh, invitations have gone out to departments, uh, county departments, city departments, and all of the political subdivisions in the county for everybody to come in and we can all get on the same page and start talking about some of the challenges we're going to be um, seeing or trying to plan for uh, next April 2024, April 8th, 2024. Seneca County will uh, is on the center line of a total solar eclipse. Last seen in Ohio in 1806. Next time it'll be in Ohio is 2099. There are other there are other uh, eclipses, but they're not total solar eclipses. They're called annular eclipses or partial eclipses. A an annular eclipse, first of all, is one where the moon comes fully in front of the sun, but is much smaller than the diameter of the sun. So you see the sun around it. This will block out the sun entirely for about two minutes right here in Seneca County that uh, somewhere, and I don't have the exact time, uh, sometime after noon. The reason this is an event is that the state of Ohio, based on after action reports from other eclipses held, uh, that, that have affected the United States, have shown that we could see a, our population increase for that 24 hour period up to three times. So that sounds great, unless you're uh, in public safety. Then it starts to uh, beg the question, how do we manage 200,000 people um, in, uh, uh, for one day who weren't already here? And they're gonna try and get here, then they're gonna try and leave. How do we manage that plus our regular duties? Because just because we're having an event doesn't mean that people won't have medical emergencies, fires won't start. The stuff that happens on a normal day anyway, now we're gonna add three times our population to that of people who don't live here, people who are here for one thing. Flip that coin over and it is a tremendous opportunity for an economic uh, boon to Seneca County, its residents, businesses, etc. So we've engaged the uh, Tiffin Seneca Economic Partnership and the Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Bureau. I already met with them at the beginning of January to give them a heads up. They can get word out to businesses and uh, parks and um, RV places that, hey, there's an opportunity here next year, start planning now. That meeting next two weeks, I keep saying next week, it's two weeks, uh, 9 a.m. on the 27th at the NCOESC is going to be for all the political subdivisions and departments throughout the county. At that time, we'll also announce a future meeting 
for the citizens of Seneca County who are interested in just having a meeting telling them about the eclipse, what's coming up, and what they can do. How they can be part of it, how they can extract the educational aspect from it, uh, the economic aspect from it, and perhaps even how to plan on staying safe and out of the way. So we'll have a departmental meeting, safety, uh, where we'll establish some committees and start to move forward on planning, and then we'll have a public meeting for anyone who wants to attend and learn about the eclipse and learn about what Seneca County is doing about it. Um, I will say this, there's only so much you can plan for. Um, the unknown is a big part of any live event that we deal with, whether it's planned or like a weather event, we don't know that it's coming till it's here. Um, but I, I, I keep wanting to plant that seed in the minds of people to understand that we will not be able to plan for every single scenario. But in the planning is where the benefits of training is. It's not necessarily having a written plan. It's in the thinking about it, and so we're starting that process right now. There has been some question about why we didn't start this process last summer or last October or earlier than this, and there was a specific reason why we didn't do that. We have been planning it at emergency management. Our office, the state office, the regional, we've been talking about it and writing up outlines. But to engage communities that early leads to burnout right about this time a year out. People are going, okay, I've already been to three meetings, and I'm not worried about this anymore, and all of a sudden it's November, December, January, and we're behind the eight ball. That's true. So I wanted to wait a little bit to engage everybody so that we can have solid participation over the next 12 months in preparation for this weekend. Other counties have done it differently, uh, and that's fine, but here that was the, the plan. So, do I have any questions? That was a, a great explanation. Mm -hmm. What did you major in in Heidelberg? Science? No. <laughs> <laughs> Music performance you, you and talking. education. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. You have a pretty good, you start talking like, about the eclipse and the, I like to read. The, Things know. get interesting and then yeah. I get, you go down that rabbit hole, especially with the internet, it's so easy now. You don't so have to keep running the Navy, to the library. When you're in the Navy and you're out there in the middle of the ocean, you're looking at the stars. And, did you ever? Seen a lot of stuff, yeah. yeah okay. You ever see an eclipse out there? The ocean? Didn't see an eclipse out there, but I saw a water spouse. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. That's not something you can see all the time. Any, uh, any comments from anybody? Nope. I think, thank you for coming in and giving a presentation. Sure. Yeah, that, that, that really, I learned a lot right there. Nice job. And we'll have lots more uh, in two weeks. I'll be at the meeting. All right. Great. I apologize. Thank I have you. another meeting at 11 o'clock that I have to prepare for, so I'm going to slip so, out of here. Yeah. Thanks for having me today. Thank yeah. Thanks for Thank coming, John. Thanks, John. John, what was your major instrument? Uh, percussion performance. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so how did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, he has his master's from Heidelberg. Well. Yeah, right, so right. On, He's mean, actually a fraternity brother of mine, too. Do Same you fraternity. have aspirations for your master's? So I don't know. Maybe someday. Maybe. Yeah. Do a no. Paul Bryce, of, you know, <coughs> undergrad at Heidelberg, master's. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Two, two Tiffin University. Yeah. I like it, yeah. <laughs> so, cool. Nice, nice report. Uh, so we'll, we'll wait on Mary to get here from SCAT. Um, so we'll move into commissioner reports. Oh, boy. So last uh, Thursday, I uh, uh, participated uh, in the Quanta Celebrity Bake Off. So that was a well-attended event, first time uh, being there, and uh, they did a really good job. They had, uh, you know, vendors kind of in the cafeteria area where you could check, you know, uh, different uh, food that they had to offer and uh, uh, desserts nice. and everything there. So that was pretty, pretty good. And then they went in and they had, and they, where they did a cooking show. So they had uh, Reno's and uh, Madison Street, and there was one more yet. Uh, I gotta feel bad. Uh, which one that the was? The guy standing in the hallway with us. Which one? Who was that with the chef? Yeah, that was one. Oh, the Empire. It was the Empire. Empire. Yep. The Empire. So yeah, the Empire, Madison Street, and, yeah. and Reno's was there. Did uh, actually performed there. You know, created a meal and stuff, and they actually sold that to the audience. So uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, so then, with the auction part of it, so whoever has the highest uh, uh, sale. They have kind of a uh, an apron you have to wear with it. So uh, actually, that uh, 
they saved the best for last, which was Chief Polly from the you know Chief of Police uh, Tiffin. There, I was second. I'm thinking like, Come wow, on. I don't look good in paper. So, so <laughs> fortunate <laughs> enough, they had my best. Good. Yeah. yeah, Rhonda, Rhonda best <laughs> on his. So uh, yeah, so fortunate enough, he has to wear the apron. That is kind of a honorary uh, deal for the for the quad. So Chief Chapel, he was in there. Chief, yeah, actually, so I tried to run this. Chief Chapel up because you know yeah. we all know Chief Chapel, and yeah. he, he's kind of you know he's kind of behind the scenes. He does like be out front. Yeah. So I just want to try to get him to wear it because I yeah, saw that's him, uh, his dish. Yeah, yeah, he does. In fact, uh, yeah. So so we had a great night, Dad. I had a lot of fun with that. That's so fun. yep. And then Saturday night went over to the. Uh, out to Camden Falls for the Casino Royale, the fundraiser for the uh, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, boy, it was a packed house. Yeah, it was a great event. Uh, a lot of people there. They uh, uh, did some, uh, a lot of raffles and, and uh, kind of the casino room, so uh, very well attended and stuff on it. Um, only other thing I want to report on is uh, OSU, they did uh, release the position uh, is open now for the uh, educator for the county. So they just, I think yesterday, uh, uh, put that out there on their uh, website, I believe. So, yeah, so that's all I have to report this time. Nice. Commissioner? Yeah. Uh, last meeting was last Thursday, but had a few things happen in between. Um, got a call from Glenn Miller, who is uh, Henry County Commissioner. He's uh, with the CCAO, and he had asked me to serve on a board there for the deferred compensation. So um, I did uh, tell him that I would step up on that board. So nice, nice. to talk with him and get a get to catch up. Um, have a GL cap meeting tonight over in Fremont. So heading over that at 6:30. Um, yesterday I was over at the Board of Elections as they were certifying their petitions. Um, it's definitely an interesting process to watch. Um, they're doing a lot of good things over there at the Board of Elections, but. Seems like there's some confusion as far as uh, candidates filling out their petitions the right way, wrong way. Um, I don't know if we need to have some sort of seminar or not, but it's kind of disheartening to see some of those turned away. I um, feel like there could be a better process or maybe an education course we could put on to help people get onto the ballot and give our citizens more choices for candidates. But uh, it's definitely an interesting process to watch yesterday, is all I'll say. I um, just also want to give a congratulations to Donna Gross. She's going to be the new Main Street Manager here for uh, downtown Tiffin. Um, got to sit in during those interviews. We had some very, very strong candidates. Um, it's nice to be a part of that process, but I think she's going to do a great job. Um, she's a small business owner here in the community, but she's uh, very well respected and liked amongst her peers. And I just I think she's going to do a good job filling in yeah, for Amy Reinhardt. Uh, that's all I've got for now. Another Heidelberg alum, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> Nice job, you guys. Thanks. Uh, I see Paul Harrison here, county treasurer. Stopped by, saw him yesterday, and uh, I didn't stay long because there were envelopes. We had lots of work for you. They, uh, they were trying to put me to work. It's amazing. It's the trays of envelopes, and the tax bills are coming in right now. Uh, and uh, it was nice to see your staff going at it, working hard. Everybody's, yep, everybody's working good together. Yeah, you just, you guys are doing a great job. Uh, met with the uh, county engineer this morning, had a uh, really a long list of things to go over. Uh, it, was, it was a great meeting, always nice to, uh, you know, visit with other electeds. So, um, in my only uh, comment, at NCOESC, it took me about six months to get that figured out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Jimmy in the meeting? Oh, yeah. Cursor would say, N C O E S C. I'd say that N E O E, that building. Right there, <laughs> I'd say the Kroger building. <laughs> yeah, oh, Kroger. <laughs> just like John, just reminded me. Anyhow, we, they're good people out there, and they hold a lot of events, and and we're really grateful that they uh, are so. The, the the they were awesome to work with. Yeah, we were good talking people. dates. We had to throw a couple dates back yeah, at the end. It was hard to get anybody. hundred just the so technology, people, whatever you need. Yep. They're yeah, just they it's a them. great asset. And a lot of meetings are community meetings are held out there. Um which, uh, we can move into our uh, county administrator report. That's okay. Okay. Yep. Um just want to make sure that you guys seen um in your mailboxes the request um to be to have an appointment made for the um, Port Authority Board of Directors, so something to begin thinking about for that. Is that do we do that? Because I, I thought maybe the mayor uh, Tiffin appointed this is that one. The one there's two different. One okay. is appointed by the city of Tiffin, and then the one is for us. Oh, so it is. Okay, we did great. receive that. So um, just to keep yes, that. Yeah. 
Getting zoom bombed over here. So, what uh, what do we do next? Well, we can start to if we could put an ad out for this if we wanted to. Um, if that's the route that we've kind of been following. Because we for have that. no candidates. So At this time, we do not have anybody we're interested. We're trying to cultivate some names. Okay. Yeah, we can reach out to the port authority to see if they have um, anybody in mind. But good. You live in a county, so we can put your name in there. For the port authority. <laughs> 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 Kylie's like, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't get to drive the trains. So. <laughs> you know, and uh, it, it, as we talk economic development behind the scenes and you, you look at all these different studies, uh, do you have a port authority? Do you have a port authority? We do mm -hmm. have a port authority that's done a pretty good job. There's good people there. Um, you know, they pretty much oversee the short line that goes to Woodville. But um, the structure is there, it's been around, and if we ever needed the Port Authority to make a, an economic move or whatever, it's, it's, a, it's a great vehicle to have. A lot of small communities do not have Port Authorities established, and we're, we're blessed to have one right here, so, um, okay. Other than that, just we're working through um, just some some stuff out at the different buildings, so I'll continue to do that. And once I get an update on all the buildings, stuff that's going on, uh, probably next Thursday will be the perfect time. Hopefully, everything will be kind of have have a better report for that. Sure. So, can you ask the Port Authority to get us the current uh, makeup of the board? Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything from you? Good do, we, do, we, do we still need yep. to go on executive session again? No, uh, no. next week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Going uh, next week, we'll have executive session. I do have one more thing, Tony. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Opportunity Center, they kind of sent us to schedule upcoming events. Um, and I did reply back to the. Uh, so March 3rd, they're having a luncheon at the Opportunity yeah, Center. We'll so I, yeah, yep. so yep. I did reply back for that. Cool. Uh, March 30th is the. Uh, uh, celebrity basketball game. I think you know, Tyler brought that up uh, last week on it. And then April 2nd is a Palm Sunday dinner at the uh, Opportunity Center. It's a drive through only, $12. You can call and uh, put your orders in early. That's so, awesome. have it. yeah, it is good because I know Tony did last year and we did it. So, yeah, it's Sorry, really you got yeah. chicken breasts or ham and your size and all that. So, uh, just some stuff coming up at the Opportunity Center. Get your get down for a Barbie you should think about it. You don't have to cook or anything. You just drive through. That's yours, good, yeah. Mashed potato, the whole thing. I mean, yep. it's awesome. Hi. Good morning. Uh, Hi. And they, they do a great job. Uh, they do a great job. So, Mary, you want to get your get settled for about five seconds? Yeah, it's I'm your ready. Turn. Yeah. Are. are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, uh, thank you. So, from SCAT, we have Mary, who's going to... Uh, make a presentation you have the floor welcome thank you um first of all thanks for happy valentine's day and thanks for booking us yeah. in just want to kind of give you an update um the shelton shuttle is not in full force yet it's the routes that's going to go around the tiffin area um we're still waiting on two vehicles that were supposed to be delivered of june of 21. <laughs> so i was told they'd come this in february so it's mid-february and we still haven't gotten word that we're getting them once that's up and running and then we'll be in full force including a white route that will go out to the industrial park to take people to work um, but the reason I come up to talk to you today is um, we come up with a project that we really are excited and hoping that the commissioners will be on board with. I'd like to write a grant for about four and a half to five million dollars. I would like to build a garage between, there's like a couple acres between the Opportunity Center and SCAT. I'd like to build a building to store our vehicles because we've outgrown our building and the Opportunity Center's vehicles are still outside. They don't have a garage. And Lou's on board with this, by the way. Um, what we'd like to do is make this building and make it a green building called Green. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have like an inverted roof to collect the rainwater and um, put it in a cistern, but um, there's, you know, EPA and all that, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I would like to have this with SCAD on one side of the building, a drive through bus wash down the middle with recycled water. On the other side of the building would be the Opportunity Center's vehicles. Opportunity Center gets 5310 
funding from the ODOT, which is the High Department of Transit, for the, some of their vehicles, their white vehicles, the blue vehicles, and then we are 5311. Both are under the umbrella of ODOT. I like to put um, solar panels on the roof to help pay for the energy and maybe perhaps sell some of the energy. So that would help us with our local matches. The thing is it's on county property, just like the SCAT building is. But we would pay for the building, it would be our building. Um, this project would probably, I'm going by other transit agencies that have done these, they, nobody has this type of building. I thought of this on my commutes for a year. I've been going down to Cambridge, Ohio area to visit my father in the last year when he was in hospice care. And I kept thinking, how can I get money? How can I get money? And I came from Vermont before coming to Seneca County. And they're all about green. And they have a building with the drive through bus wash, with the recycled water from the snow and the rain. They have another agency that has a satellite or the um, solar panels on their roof. So I thought, why can't I combine them both? And the ones on the roof, they sell their energy. And that can go in for a local match, which is always really hard for rural transit agencies. So I would like for you to consider this. And I would like to try to get it built in 2024, which means that I would start working on it this summer with the RFPs and um, getting people to help with that idea. Now, I, I, I ran this past Senator Reinecke, and he's all on board, and, and his office is actually going to call EPA and make sure we can do this system and take care of all that. But again, we have to get your blessing. It is your property. So, so you've had the dream for this building, but I've never heard it described like you just described it. Yeah. And who, who do you write the grant to? I will be writing it? grants to... Is it a combination to, grant? There's going to be a lot of different grants involved. Okay, so key, yeah. Um, first one would be what I'm going to try is the 5339, which is through ODOT. It's for capital improvement and buildings. Um, then I'm also going to go through Ohio Transit Partnership Program, better known as OPT2. And then I'm going to try to reach out to some green grants, which I'm not real familiar with it. I've already had a lot of the funders at ODOT a couple years ago sitting at a table when I kind of was passing this through them last year, a couple years ago, and then again last year. They're on board with this because this has never been done that yeah. we know of. And I kind of like, and I think being the first, we might be the first to get the funding. And if it works, it may go to other rural parts mm -hmm. in Ohio. Because local match in Ohio is very tough. And with the theft of Cadillac converters, we got to keep our buildings, we got to keep our fleet safe. You know, if somebody stole 36 Cadillac converters, there'd be a lot of people not going to dialysis, chemotherapy, to work, to school. And you know, these are the people that we serve. Well, we, and little old ladies going to beauty shop, you know. Bill was at the Casino Royal over the weekend. If I was going to make a bet and put money on anything, it would be on Mary. Yeah. Getting this grant. I'm going to try. You are, you have a pretty good success rate. Yeah, I do. To show that. It checks yeah. the boxes. So, yeah. I mean, if for purposes of your request, I have personally have no problem with uh, what you're doing in the county. I know exactly where you're talking. Mm -hmm. So just at a high level, mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure we're you miss 100 percent of the shots. Proven you don't anything, take. but right. what do you think? No, that's what I, yeah. You miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. Right. Are you? Let's see what the other two think. But I'm good with it. And yeah, I have, I, if you have questions, ask them. I might not know the answers yet. This is sure. new. I got Ron. He's our safety manager, and he has a lot of background in right. agriculture and stuff like that. So I got him on board, and he will probably be steering us. I'm going to do the money part of it, and then probably the development and all that. Well, he doesn't know it yet. <laughs> but it's going to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> So I do have one question. So to the uh, uh, south side of where you're at, that's where the park, you're not going to go there. You're going to go between Is that the west side? The, the, the north side. side. Yeah, that's where the, and the park's going to be, I believe, for yeah. you guys. Um, I noticed a number went up out there. We've never seen that before until last so week. So you'll be on the other behind side. Behind our building. Yeah, behind. So it's not going to, it will not impede or affect anything. No. Yeah, I no. know. Yeah. <coughs> It'll be to right. the rest of the building. The thing would be. Behind the, uh, the fitness barn there. How far? Let's take that down. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of in your way, yeah. <coughs> There's plenty of room, I there think. There might be it, enough room, I think. Probably right behind that, that portion back into there. Lots well, going to depend on how they're architecting the uh, park district back into. I think that's I'm all sure. I would ask, and yeah, yeah. you know, you guys could speak because we have a little plan going out right. there. So Lou would want a road probably 
from behind there, right? To get yeah, we to were the tied in with, with so that's park, not there park now, park right? Uh, Which wouldn't so be that, uh, yeah, but initially. I don't have any problem with it, and we'll, we'll we can make it work, but it's kind of that would uh, yeah. that's something new. My that, thought is, is by putting in the cisterns to collect water, we would eliminate the uh, the two catch basins that are back here, yeah, because then we want that water, we don't want it to go off. Be catching all that. Keep I, I like the concept. But I just would like to go ahead down the road, keep us informed yeah. in case yeah. there is a tweak or two that we would like to okay. throw out there. Thank uh, you. I will yeah. get the brains and the hamster wheel going. How many square <laughs> feet would this be about? I have we don't no know idea. yet. We don't have any idea. It's going to be very, very big. And yeah, it's because I, I don't want to run out of We, we ran out of room already. <clears throat> It's just another side note, um, we were awarded 410000 to renovate a building in Faustoria and I have a meeting, Ron and I have a meeting down in Faustoria nice. tomorrow, or today at 2, and we're going to be putting up a pole barn and renovating a building down there, so our buildings, our vehicles right now are host, they're held behind Good Shepherd, and we're going to be putting them down in, uh, on Jackson Street, so it's $410,000 we were awarded with no local match. So, so that's I, a good thing. I'm just have Mary just have a thought now that I'm, we're talking out loud. So uh, once you get a fairly good idea how big this thing is, can you drop it on a piece of paper and let us look at it? Absolutely. We have a master plan, and you may not be aware of some things we have. And we're talking about an ag building. Uh, we have not. I, I think it's fair to say we most probably won't put it there, but we haven't officially said that yet, right, or in that way. So we're in a little bit of some discussion here, mm -hmm. right, Gresh, you get it. So we've kind of seen the preliminary plans of what the park was. I don't realize it's probably changed. Yeah, but I, 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 I love the concept. It would put all the buses on. Mm -hmm. Everything would be great, but I know mm -hmm. it's going to be a big building. It's going to yeah. be like the Heminger Center or something, something <coughs> big, right, for as big as we got space for it. Yeah. yeah, so it's never big enough either. Ask for <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to have yeah. to add on that. Yeah. On on yeah. I so, do it. So, I, I mean, I think this is great news, and, and um, but again, I, that's what I would ask is to, once you get the envelope established, right. then you're going to have traffic. Right. Um, and I did, one of the items I talked to uh, Engineer Zimmerman on is uh, the ingress, regress uh, on well, for you to be the township road, but for there then to get out onto the state road, there's some things we're going to do different on that point. So it that's almost, it almost be nice if you just take 20 straight across. But straight across. Yeah. So this this <laughs> this would come into the right. conversation yeah. because you're dealing with a township road, the old township trustee, yeah, township road, a county road, and a state road, and it's just a little complicated, but. Uh, Engineer Zimmerman is on board with. And when it, so. you go to do your parking or your parking parking lot, let me yes. know because there is parking ride funding available, and I get probably get eighty percent of it covered through federal dollars. Yeah, let's work so together you, on this. When you get that far, let me know. Keep Jamie in the loop, okay? Okay. Who's kind of you know county minister? New Stacy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and um, I like it, but this will create some good discussion yeah. for. All the other things <coughs> we have going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate well, your time and I appreciate your support. To make sure we know where they're going to be so we can see what we. Yeah, they're they're kind of in the they're just in the back there. Yeah. You know, so um, all that more to come. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. More to come. Very good. Yes. Thanks. And I'm not um, uh, uh, if sooner than later you can get us an envelope. Oh yeah, I, I, we would like. The first that. step was to get your blessing. Yeah, even though and maybe just Senator draw Ryan, office is already just draw a road in. because I'm visioning uh, you know some sort of connection from School of Opportunity to that building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna. In other words, they're not going to go on a roll and drive all the way around. No, we're going no, to no, go no. the back way. No. Yeah. Right. Fine. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
that's uh, yeah, good news. Good yeah. stuff. And uh, you know, we're really we're really blessed to have you know small towns, people that need rides and need mm -hmm. transportation and need you know it's just it's good stuff. Uh, it's amazing. Like the <coughs> Shelton Shuttle when I was out doing the uh, Salvation Army doing mm -hmm. ringing the bell there at Walmart. You know how many people they. Really pick, pick up out there, yeah, on an on a hourly basis or whatever. So we take for granted significant. to have our own cars and we go, but there are a lot yeah. of people that can't get to work and can't get around. It's good. Okay, back to uh, if we're finished with the uh, county administrator's report, are you okay, Jamie? Mm -hmm. with everything. So we're going to jump into new business. <coughs> back to you. And All right. <coughs> we'll Start with the supplemental appropriations. Yeah. Okay, I have um, the Community Development Block Grant Fund. Um, they're requesting $45,197.21 um, for the Flustoria ADA ramps. Um, this was not paid in 2022. Um, they had to recertify the revenue this year because it was it wasn't receded until this year, I believe. Hmm. So they're asking for that money to pay um, that uh, expense in 23. Um, then I also have the ex uh, Enterprise Zone Fund on their contract service line uh, requesting $13,142.87. And um, it's for administrative fees that should have been paid to Seneca County Regional Planning. Um, as the enterprise zone administrator, um, they just had they uh, conducted a, an additional audit of this fund, and um, they received a portion of it in 22, but I believe this is the remaining you portion mm -hmm. in 23. Um, I also have um, the capital the community uh, based corrections facility fund, um, $431,800 for capital improvements. This is for Oriana House for their boiler and their roof. Um, and then I have uh, the special general special projects fund for $1,098 um, for their contract services. This is to uh, pay the attorney for uh, pivot services. And I also have um, out of the general fund for the treasurer's office, uh, $3,900 for their software license and service line. It's for their cashiering system with a three-year uh, license and annual support. Need a motion? I move to accept the appropriations. Second. Okay. Uh, discussion time. Just a quick question on the first one, yep. Barb. Is mm -hmm. that uh, uh, funded through uh, the Foster Economic Development, or is that something through who? I'm just curious. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's a state. Uh, I, it was state. for a CDBG, CDBG grant, um, grant um, for a project year of 2021. Sure. And see, this drives me crazy. So the contractors get paid. So this was the year I think we did the sidewalks in New Riddle. Right. And then we did them in Faustoria. Mm -hmm. The contractor gets paid. Right? That we paid them. For the job's done. Now here we <coughs> are. But so we front that money out of the general fund. And then we're getting paid back from the state. Is that kind of? Um, this is actually to pay for, according to the description paid. Charlene gave, was to pay for the installation of the ADA compliant ramps in Faustoria to actually pay for. Unless this is something else. Maybe I'm, I'm, not, certain. <coughs> yeah. I'm not certain. Yeah. Not certain. So I'm okay with it, uh, but that's a regional planning question. Yeah, question yeah. This stuff delays a year. Everybody gets paid when they're finished. Mm -hmm. So this is what I don't. I'm looking at Paul. He's like, I don't, I don't deal with that. But uh, <laughs> anyhow, any other questions? Nope. I'm That's good. Uh, we have the treasurer here with the software license. You want to say anything? You good? Um, this gets you where you need to be. Yeah, it does. For now, um, we're going to have to do a little bit more, but this will get us part way through that process. So we're getting ready for the new. Uh, server and all that stuff is, I guess, coming down the road the way it sounds. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, more to come on that. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, appreciate you gave us some good news. It was a little less money than we thought for <laughs> your third-party software. Yep. You can come anytime with good news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other discussion uh, for the supplemental appropriations? 
Uh, the Oriana House, mm -hmm. they've been working on this a long time, right? Mm -hmm. They've yeah. had a couple bids and they didn't have enough money and they, yeah, and well, I, this back is finally the culmination of that. Yeah, they and back in November, um, there was a resolution to approve the boiler yeah. already, so. In its state term for that, and they're doing it for the roof as well. And so, the contract. They, they went through what we're gonna go through and we are <laughs> going through. They're not getting as much done with the money they have mm -hmm. everything costs more mm -hmm. it's just crazy so you know they came in and they were going to do this and then they they this is what they're getting done <coughs> initially they didn't have enough to do both projects but they, they moved did. forward and said that well, they are going to get the funding to be able to do both the roof and the boiler so they should be well i'm happy for them good they did a nice job staying with it mm -hmm. that's just what we got to do okay? Any other any other comments? We have on um, the supplemental appropriations. Nice job, Barb. Good. We good. Roll call. Commissioner Franker. Yes. Commissioner Schiff. Yes. Commissioner Paradiso. Yes. Okay. Um, we have a few resolutions today. The first one is a resolution authorizing uh, fund transfer to be made to the loan repay repayment fund thirteen fourteen. Uh, that's in the amount of fifty thousand dollars. have a motion I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the transfer of the loan fund second uh, discussion uh, so part. what's the scope on this just a little background so I believe help me out guys Kylie and um, this is for a loan payment um, and it is budgeted into one and needs to be transferred into the actual to make the payments so this we have actually annual, two this is our annual payment for yeah. fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, and we had we have it, but it would be nice to revisit uh, what our balance is on that mm -hmm. loan. It's only a couple years, I believe. Mm -hmm. This is a loan for. Um, we pay it to. The, uh, I think the fiber maybe. NCOESC. Yeah, that is. Yeah, NCOESC. The, <laughs> yeah. uh, the NCOESC. So when the courthouse was built, we <laughs> borrowed 500000 I believe. Yeah, 10 year long. Yeah. And it was 50000 a year for 10 years interest free. Mm -hmm. uh, see, it's nice to have old timers around. You mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mary's been here. Vicki, you've been here before all of us. So. <laughs> um, and so is time. <laughs> but the beauty is, um, well, the good news is, uh, we're we're seven eight years into this thing, yeah, mm -hmm. and so that's what it's for. Good question. Yeah, thank you. I like our format, by the way, where we pause and we discuss these things. So we're just trying to make sure everybody's clear on what we're doing. Okay, we have a first and a second roll call. Commissioner Frankert. Yes. Commissioner Chef. Yes. Commissioner Paradiso. Yes. <clears throat> The next resolution is authorizing the fund transfer transfer be made to the Justice Center Operating Fund 1244. That's in the amount of $400,000. That's one that you, again, we budget into one and then have to transfer it over so that we can pay bills for the Justice Center. Mm -hmm. I move to accept that. Second. Uh, no discussion here. Roll call. Commissioner Frankert? Yes. Commissioner Schuff? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. I should have asked you guys, sorry. But what? I mean, I oh. didn't have any discussion. No, that's not worry. <laughs> um, Don't worry. Well, I'll okay. you. Yeah, you'll <laughs> tell me. Yeah. You'll make sure I know. Yep. All right. The next resolution is setting time, date, and place to receive sealed bids for County Road 27 2.97, County Road 38 uh, 15.62. Uh, Township Road 194-0.83, uh, Superstructure Replacement Pre-Stressed Box Beams. I move to accept that. Second, Commissioner Frankert. I see the engineers are at work. Yep. Um, <laughs> hope they can get them, and I hope they're priced the way they... Well, I think you might be doing some more in-house stuff there now. He, he yeah. keeps... Yeah, he brings them in. He brings them in, kind of, yep. yeah. yeah. We need to I don't know if you know that. But uh, can you? Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I don't know if you know that, but that, that's a good point. He salvages a lot. Mm -hmm. Our engineer, so during the winter when the road crews, if they're not out plowing snow, they're, they're in there 
fab and they're welding, they're pouring <coughs> concrete, they're making, yep. they're working on the on the bridges so that when they can March 9th. That place yeah. is a final yeah. machine. Yeah. 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 He's got to run. That. run great. <laughs> Okay, so that is um, to receive the sealed bids um, until 10.30 a.m. March 9th, 2023, in the commissioner's March office. Nine. We have to get that. Uh, March 9th. 3.9. Thanks, Kyla. Mm -hmm. Okay, any more discussion? We good? Mm -hmm. First and second. Roll call. Commissioner Franker? Yes. Commissioner Schaff? Yes. And Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. Last resolution is resolution authorizing the Oriana House to enter into contract with JB Roofing. This is the second part of their state term that they're doing. That is um, in the amount of $331,409 for their new roof. I make, make, oh, you're right, no matter. Make, make a motion that we pass the uh, resolution, please. I'll second the motion. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none. Commissioner Franker? Yes. Commissioner Schaff? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. Okay, nice job. Pretty pretty simple today. Uh, back to you, Jamie. For any other thoughts, comments? I am all set. All set? Okay. Uh, public comment as we uh, wrap our business up. Anyone in the audience like to speak? Be good. Paul, while you're here. Sure. Uh, I guess I, I because it's nowhere else I didn't get on the agenda is some public comment, but we yeah, need to great. request a meeting with the three of you, probably in the executive session to discuss um, some bank account issues that we have. No, don't don't worry now. Yeah. We're okay. How about is next week okay or uh, that would be fine. Yeah, so okay. we will put you on the agenda. Wait, let me look and make sure. Next Thursday, because we will also have an executive session uh, to talk uh, conversation. I didn't know if we could do all, if we could do all that at the same time. Yeah, we, we can. When we're back there, we'll just Great. do it. We'll be two different topics. Yeah, we'll probably we'll do two different times. And we'll, we'll have to come in and. and that's next Thursday. I mean, that's short of a special meeting because mm -hmm. we, we have to have a we have to do it during a meeting. Next Thursday is the what do do? 23rd. Yeah, that works. Okay. Do you want to do that at 10 15? Is that whatever, okay? Whatever will fit. You guys, everybody good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good see Jane? anything else? Did you see anything else on the. Okay, perfect. 10 15. Sounds good. Okay. We'll see you then. And uh, uh, good. Any other comment? Jimmy, you want to open up the. Yeah, and, uh, Mike Ditto wanted to offer a quick comment, so I think Mike, you should be able to Good morning, Mike. Good morning, uh, I just wanted to take a quick moment to introduce a uh, new colleague of ours at Highbridge Consulting. Uh, Patrick Schwartz is our new Vice President for Government Affairs. Uh, and he's going to be helping out with a variety of projects for uh, all of our clients we work with, including Seneca County. You have to allow him to do that. Uh, Patrick comes to us from the legislature as well. He worked uh, in, in the Ohio House with me for many years and most recently has been the Director of Government Affairs for Leading Age Ohio, focusing on nursing facility and elder care issues for the last several years. Great guy, uh, and we're excited to have him on board and I wanted to introduce him to all of you today. And Patrick is on with us. Hey Patrick, welcome. Good morning. Do, do we see your face, or are you just on uh, video or uh, audio? We just have one audio. I'm uh, having some trouble starting the video. Oh, there, there he is. All right. Hi. Hey, everybody. How are you? There he is. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Seneca County. Nice to meet you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to working with you all. Excited to be over here at Highbridge. And I uh, know Seneca County pretty well from working with uh, Senator Reinecke and others and have been up many times and looking forward to working with you guys. So. Awesome. Thank you. Likewise. <coughs> Thanks, Mike. Will, Anything else? This was, I know this will be disappointing, but I will still be your main point of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... it's it's really nice to see you grow, and I, in, in my, we're in public comment. From my perspective, uh, the uh, commissioners have chosen to uh, spend county money 
uh, with your firm, okay, uh, High Bridge Consulting. And I've never been anywhere in Columbus. Uh, you could be to the Cattlemen's Association, nursing homes, CCAO, auto deals, anything where they don't know who you are, you guys are, and um, I just think uh, the relationship we have with you guys is, is uh, mutual and it's genuine and it's, it's uh, productive. I think both sides feel uh, value there and I hope the citizens of, of the county uh, appreciate that as well because I, I think it's uh, good use of taxpayer money to have ears and eyes down in Columbus um, yeah, reporting back and helping us with everything from grants to relationships with our legislators. So that's my, my two cents for your firm that I uh, have really grown to uh, appreciate um, in my time here as a commissioner. So well, thank you. That, that means uh, a great deal to us. Uh, thank you so much for the kind words. And we, uh, we view ourselves very much as a part of the, the Seneca County team. We're here for whatever you need. And, and thank you for having us uh, as part of the team because we know that there's always a lot going on. And we strive to provide you with the best uh, consultation that we can. So if there are issues that come up, know that, of course, that we're a phone call away. It really is a, a privilege for us to serve the county. So thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for your kind words. Thank you. Jimmy, anybody else? Any, any comments? Oh, from, sorry, thanks, guys. Mike, for checking in. Yep. Uh, and then there's good. anybody in the Zoom call would like to come forward now, you can unmute your line and do that. I think we're good. It, it's like, it does it seem like Tuesday to, to everybody? Thursday. It, it does seem like <laughs> Everybody in here wishes it was Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind Tuesday beans. It's actually a bit. Yeah, you know, but we're, but we're Tuesday. So uh, nice job. Uh, this concludes our meeting, and we will be back on the 23rd, uh, regular time at 10 o'clock uh, for our full board session. Uh, meeting adjourned.